All right. Uh, this camera's crooked. Yeah. I need to try and fix that. There we go. I think I fixed it. I can fix it. Still haven't seen seen Ralph Breaks the Internet, but anyway, what's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Wimmer, aka AP3 Jumped, and uh, welcome to uh, the vlogs thir 131, um, the last vlog of the year. And um, yeah, I'm calling this 2018 in a nutshell. And there's a bunch of bullshit behind me. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> now, this year was. It was very interesting. Uh, a lot of a lot of great things happen and a lot of bad things happen. If I was if I was here to talk about every single one of those things, I would be here all damn night. But I ain't got it all night, so I'm just going to talk about some more important things. Like uh, I'll talk about the first, the good. Um, 2018 was a very great year for the entertainment industry, and that this was the year of crossovers. Now, um. The, that's that started off with Avengers Infinity War back in April <clears throat> then um crossover Nexus on Cartoon Network which happened about a couple months ago I want to say it happened in October I'm not sure because I didn't watch that and uh, Super Smash Bros Ultimate that came out uh in December uh, 7th 2018 actually <laughs> I almost forgot the date for some reason because it was ingrained in my brain for literally six months straight so yeah, that was exciting, and um, uh, I guess uh, one of the more prominent uh, bad things uh, that I feel like I should talk about is uh, more famous people died this year. I mean, yeah, sure, that happens every year and whatnot, but more important people passed away this year, like um, uh, Stan Lee and <clears throat> Stephen Hawking, just to name a few. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, that, and they were very important people, and, uh, some, some of the people, even more, even more than I've mentioned, that I'm mentioning on here, have either, uh, there's a cut in my hand, I gotta do something about that, have either, uh, died of old age, or have died from something that they could not prevent, like, Stephen Hillenburg, he died of ALS, Stephen Hawking died of uh, ALS too, Although, he lived a lot, uh, he, Stephen Hawking lived so much longer than he was supposed to live, statistically speaking, because, like, uh, from what I've heard, uh, the ALS should have taken his life early on. Thank God it didn't. Thank God it didn't. <laughs> thank, thank God he was able to live this, this longest life. And Stanley, too, he lived a long life, and he, he died naturally, but... Other people like Steven Hillenburg, uh, I mean, I, I, who passed away, uh, not by choice, <laughs> from something from something else. Like, it's unfortunate that he couldn't live to his absolute uh, oldest age, and I, I, he, he lived his li life to the fullest that he absolutely could. I mean. He created the most uh, popular cartoon of the 21st century, and um, yeah, he's built an incredible legacy. And yeah, and it's just a shame when fam it's just it's just a shame when famous people uh, pass away like like that because there's just nothing you can do. Death is de death is death. That's an unfortunate. That's I'm gonna sh switch gears because yeah, I'm gonna talk about more happy things again. Someone just texted me. <laughs> there, there, there's some comic relief. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> uh, good things for me personally. This was a very good uh, year for me for YouTube. Uh, I posted so many new videos. Um, I reached my, both my 400th and 500th videos this year. <laughs> I never, I never thought I'd reach a t two I never thought I'd pass a, a, a singular hundredth video twice in the year. So, yeah, my 400th one was a multi-milestone marathon. It was a celebration of both the four of the 400th video. And my uh, seven 
your uh, channel history and uh, my 100 subscriber celebration. <clears throat> yeah, and I did ev absolutely everything on my channel that I've ever done in a sort of a live stream type of format. <clears throat> and the 500th video, <laughs> at the, I have a funny story about that. The 500th video, I completely lost track of when that was when when that was supposed to be uploaded. So I didn't make make a proper video for that until like I didn't even think of a proper video for that. Because I, even back when I did the 400th video, I was thinking, well, what am I gonna do for the 500th? How am I gonna top that? But uh, um, I guess in hindsight, it's uh, it's better to you know do a simpler concept because for every single hundredth video that I do, I've done something I've never done on the channel before ever, and. Uh, I, I didn't realize I surpassed 500 videos until 5 or 520. I'm like, oh shit, well, I may as well check to make sure what my 500th video was. And it wound up being, um, it wasn't a bad video to be to be selected as the 500th video. It was actually my uh, taste test video for um, the Cookie Crisp birthday cake flavor. Yeah, so... Even in that, I still did something I've never done on the channel before. I tried my favorite cereal on camera, which I've never done before. <laughs> a very minor thing, but still. I had to, I had to, I had to get something out of that. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah. And another great thing that happened to me this year. I, I am officially became a part of the Loud TV YouTube channel. Yes, that's right. Um, and me and my Loud House reviews, they, uh... <clears throat> They uh, garnered the, ten the attention of uh, Loud TV, and uh, back in the summer of this year, uh, the guy in charge of Loud TV, who also goes by the name, the alias of Loud TV, or Loud Family 11, <laughs> and um, you see, uh, he uh, approached me about a project that they were doing d d during that summer, known as the uh, Loud Reviews, where um, a bunch of us review uh, every single episode from the entireties of season one and season two of The Loud House. And yeah, I, 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 I was like, sure, that sounds awesome. And I did a bunch of reviews for that. And, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I ate a lot of dinner. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that was an awesome experience. And then I would, I would go on to stay uh, uh, on the, Loud TV YouTube channel, I would be a part of the very, very first discussion video, actually, or I think the first one. <clears throat> talking about the episodes for, uh, I believe, July 2018. Talking about um, <clears throat> episodes such as Be Still in My Heart and Gown and Out, all the episodes that came out during that month. And yeah, I did I did a vlog with, not a vlog, <laughs> I, I, I was, and the other people in the discussion video were, uh, uh, of Loud TV, of course, and um, Jason Brow and Sunny Eclipse. So I got to work with them for the first time. So that was really awesome. And then I was even part of the very first podcast. Uh, the very first official Loud Crowd podcast. Yeah, and then and then I would go on to appear on subsequent podcasts. And then I even appeared on the, very, the most recent one, the last one of the year. And uh, so, yeah... Uh, the very first podcast and the and the last podcast of this year uh, had the same exact uh, people in it, so so that's really cool. Except Guapi Try couldn't make it in the in the last one, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it was, that it's such a huge blessing for me to be a part of another YouTube channel. It's the very first uh, uh, YouTube channel that I've ever collaborated with that isn't that isn't. Uh, of that isn't local, you know, because the Team of Way Six YouTube channel, uh, those were ran by all my friends. Where, uh, whereas uh, the Loud TV YouTube channel, I, I uh, met for the first time while working with them. So yeah, that was a, that was an awesome blessing. And the Loud TV, I, once again, I thank you dearly for for bringing me onto the channel and um, having me be a part of Loud TV. So I, I, I thank you so much for that. I'm very grateful. And yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Other than uh, that, this year was a, a very interesting, had a lot of ups and downs, more ups than downs, I'll say, for both me personally and just in general, like for, every, for everybody feels. 
And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll talk about my rant for New Year's resolutions on, uh, my first vlog of 2019. So, yeah. I think I'm going to end off the video here. Um, if you like the- wait, Randomus! I almost forgot! Randomus, son of a bitch! Uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, in my- one of my most recent gaming videos, I revealed at the very beginning that I got a PlayStation 4 Pro with Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy for Christmas. And here it is. <laughs> There's the box art. And now that I got this game, I'll finally be able to do a Crash Bandicoot random randomness video where I show off a bunch of Crash Bandicoot random objects, to which I have a bunch now, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, and talk, tell some more random fun facts about Crash. Speaking of random fun facts, I'll tell, I'm will i going to give you one... I'm stammering so badly tonight. I'm going to give you one about Mario. Charles Martinet, specifically. Um... He achieved a world record. And this was a long time coming, sure, but it's still awesome nonetheless. <clears throat> he just recently got a Guinness World Record. There was even a video about it on Guinness World Records YouTube channel where he became the person with the most portrayals of a single video game character with 100 portrayals as Mario to, to date making Super Smash Bros. Ultimate his 100th portrayal as Mario. So that is really awesome. That's really awesome for his 100th role as Mario to be that game. <laughs> so even even though Mario has recycled voice clips in that game, still, it's awesome to, to have that massive freaking game be his 100th uh, role as Mario. That milestone. So yeah, that's really awesome. A really awesome coincidence. And, uh, I wonder what the, I wonder how many times he's played all the, the rest of the plumbers. Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. And even the Baby Mario Bros. I'm very curious about that as well. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna end off the video saying, uh, yeah, 2018, um, it was very good for the most part. It was like 75% good, 25% bad for me personally and just in general for everyone else. So... <laughs> Yeah, um, here's hoping to 2019, and, um, I'm, uh, if you like to it, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for, uh, my next video, which will be tomorrow on New Year's Day. My very first, uh, video for 2019, which will be the vlogs 132. Because every single year, I always do a vlog at the very last day of the year, and then, ne and then the next day, I do a, a vlog at the very first day of the year. So, yeah, um, I'm... I'm going to have to bid you do. And uh, after this video, check me out on the Loud TV YouTube channel where I'm going to be on the Loud TV New Year's live stream. So yeah, on top of, <laughs> on top of more YouTube milestones that I'm personally getting, this will be the very first live stream I'll be a part of. So that is really freaking exciting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Um, I'm Alex Wimmer, aka AP3 Jones. Thank you so much for watching. Until the end, that's it for me. And I will see you next year in 2019. Goodbye. It was a shame there were no more Loudhouse episodes to end off the year. Oh well. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Here's another random object. Arizona. One of my friends introduced, introduced this to me in high school, and I've bought these ever since. I get them ever so often, but they're still awesome. They're about as big as my freaking head, which is big enough as it is. <laughs> yeah. As uh, one of my friends told me, life is not worth living if you can't laugh at yourself every once in a while. Yeah. Memes and all. <laughs>